Hello everyone. In this video I show you how to find out the email address of a SAP user. This functionality can be used again and again across projects and modules and therefore I implement this logic in a method. I create this method in one of my global classes. Then we test the function of the method and call it in a test program. Now let's uh, open the transaction SU01, the user maintenance, and we see here the username and the email address. And we want to get this email address with the username. And for this, we need two tables, and I open the SE11 the ABAP dictionary and the name of our first table is USR21 and we see here the username and the second table is the table ADR6 and in this table we have the email address. So let's browse the data. In this table, I type my username, def user. And we see here the username and some other columns like first number and address number. And on my sec second table, I type in here the address number and the first number from the table USR21. And we see one record. And if we extend the list width, we see the column SMTP address, our email address. And for our method, we have to join these two tables with these columns. Okay, let's do this. This is my global class. And uh, in this class, I collect my uh, simple methods, which I can use project independent and so on. And here I create my new method. The name should be clear. So I write get email by rename. Then I type in a short description, get email by username. The visibility is public and the method is static. So let's click on the button create. Then double click on our new method. And then we see the source code. And we need two more parameters here. For this I click on go to and method definition. And now we create the parameters. We need a import value, the username, type importing, and the associated type is the data tab from the table. In this case, it's XUB name. And the second parameter is the email. I use the returning parameter, the returning type here. So I write are we email returning. And the data type is here AD SMTP ADR. Okay, these are my parameters. Click on change. With the button signature, I can display my parameters. And let's activate this method. These are our objects. And now we can write the code. And now we make the join. 
And for this cell, write select single SMTP address. From my first table, it's USR21. And I write the alias, the SU, inner join to my second table called ADR6SA. Then the join condition on you first number these are our two columns we need to join it's the first number and the address number equals a first number and u Address number equals a address number. Into our returning value rv email. Where you b name equals e we b name. Okay, that means we read the, uh, we need the alias here as well. So that means we read the email address and write it into our returning value with the importing value B name. Okay, let's click on pretty print and activate. Okay, there is an error here. Okay, it's in typo. It's SMTP. Okay, activate again. Looks good. Click on test. Click on our method. And we type here the username, dev user. And we click on execute. And we see our returning value is the email address. So the method works. And now let's call this uh, method in a test program. And for this, I go to program and I call my test code program. Then I go to in edit mode. And I uh, click on the button pattern, up, up, object patterns, continue. And here I type the name of my class, setcl examples, global, and we browse the methods. And here we click on get email by bname. Click on OK. And this is our code snippet. We type here the username. And we make here an inline declaration. We use a local variable here for the returning value, LV email. And I want to display this. So I write my LV email variable. Then pretty brain and activate. Then let's run the program and we see the returning value is my email address. And because we uh, use a returning value here, we can we have another option to call the method a shorter one. We need only one line of code and for this we declare the variable equals and I copy the class and method string here and paste it and I can type here my importing value 
my username. Dev user. Let's activate and run the program. And we see here the result is the same. It's my email address. And the call is shorter. Because we need to uh, use the returning value here. In my SAP system, I use many of these uh, small methods. I collect them in global classes depending on the module, for example. And uh, the advantage is uh, that you have much less redundant code in your SAP system. And if one of these uh, methods are faulty or if an update is necessary, you only need to implement it in one place. Yes, mm, if you liked the video, I would be happy if I got the like for it. You can also leave me a comment here how you, how you see it. Also subscribe to my channel, I would be happy. And I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.